Hi boys and girls, how have you been? Uh, it's another day we get to our Sunday school lesson of the day. Hope you've had a great week. And just before we begin, I would like us to do a review of our last class. So who can remember what we learned in our last class? Yes, you. Yes, of course, we learned about the elevation of the truth. And we said being elevated is being put on a higher level or on a an important position that is being elevated and we say that in this, this season we are going to elevate the truth and we say what is the truth someone someone yes the truth in you is jesus according to john chapter 14 and verse 6 jesus said that i am the way the truth and the life and so we say in this season, we are going to elevate Jesus through our contact, our speech, through what else? Through the word and in everything that we do. That Jesus in this season, we are going to exalt Jesus, to elevate Jesus. And who can remember where our verse was from? Of course, it was from our theme verse of the year. That is Luke chapter 4 and verse number 14. And we say that Jesus, and we say that Jesus came in the power of the Holy Spirit in the city of Galilee, and news about him spread throughout the entire region. Yes. And so that's the review of our last Sunday lesson. And so today, I would like us to continue with our lesson for the day. And before we do that, I would like us to pray. And in times of prayer, what do we do? We put our hands together, we bow our head and close our eyes and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another wonderful time to learn from your word. I pray that you're going to use me as a vessel. I pray the Lord you're going to help the students that are listening, that are watching. The Lord of Father, my King, you're going to open their hearts and they will hear from you, O oh God. And the, your word is going to stick in their hearts, my God, that the house is going to be that good soil that your word will grow and yield fruit some 30 some 60 some 60 some 100 to the glory and honor of your name we come when we see the end of this lesson and lord having been taught by you all glory and honor will go back will go back to you it is in jesus mighty name we do pray and believe and everyone said amen and amen and so today boys and girls i want us to continue with our class and we said in this season we are elevating the truth and the truth is the word of God. The truth is Jesus. And so today, I want us to just uh, narrow down on this one thing. And so we are saying that we are elevating Jesus. So if I may ask, who is Jesus? Someone, someone, yes, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Yes, of course, Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is also God. Jesus is our savior and all that. And so I want us to give us a story of the creation. And so when you read from the book of Genesis, and if you have your Bibles, kindly take your Bible and let us read the word of God together. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. Hope you have your Bibles. So kindly, parents, help the kids to get their Bibles and let us read the word of God together. Genesis 1, 1, it says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2. Now the earth was formless and empty. D darkness covered the surface of the watery depth. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day. And he called the darkness night. Even it came and the morning, the first day. And so that's the story of creation. And we see that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And guess what? Jesus was there from the beginning. And so we are seeing that Jesus is God. And uh, to elaborate more on this, let's look on Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. What does it say? Genesis 1, 26. Then God said, let us make man in our own image according to our likeness 
They will rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the livestock, all the earth, and the creature that crawled on the earth. And so verse 26 begins by saying, and God, then God said, let us, let us. So what does it mean? Who was God talking to? It was in the union of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so God let's say, let us create my own image and likeness. And so what happened later is that uh, when you continue the story after the creation, we saw that man fell to sin. He did not obey the commandment of God. And because of that, sin entered the creation. And also the fall of man happened. And the relationship between man and God was separated and through that we see now Jesus coming to get us back to God and so I will pause on that at this moment we shall continue from that in the next class but I want us to go today back to get to knowing who Jesus is and so John chapter 1 all the way from verse 1 to 15 you're going to see who Jesus is and that you're going to establish that Jesus is God the reason is why the reason is why we are doing this I want us to understand who Jesus is. So that when we are saying that in this season, we are elevating Jesus. We are elevating the truth. We want Jesus to be known. We understand who Jesus is. And so, to elaborate more on who Jesus is, let us read John chapter 1. So kindly again, take your Bibles. Let's open together John chapter 1. So John chapter 1, from verse 1, I will read so kindly. Follow clearly. I read from verse 1 all the way to verse 15. And this is a long one. But kindly bear with me. Yes, you, you watch movies or cartoon of about one hour or, that, or, that, or, 20, or two hours. So, with just a, a few minutes and we'll be done. So, I'll begin from verse 1 of John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Hope we are going together. You have your Bibles. Let's read verse 2 together. He was with God in the beginning. Verse 3. All things were created through him, and apart from him, not one thing was created that has been created. Verse 4. Life was in him, and that life was light of men. That light shines in the darkness, yet the darkness did not overcome it. Verse 6. There was a man named John who was sent from God. He came as a witness to testify about the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light. The true light who gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was created through him, yet the world did not recognize him. Verse 11. He came to his own and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, he gave them the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, verse 13, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. Verse 14, the word became flesh and took a president among us. We observed his glory. The glory is the one and only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. And verse 15, finally, John testified concerning him and exclaimed, This was the one of whom I said, The one coming after me has surpassed me because he existed before me. And so we are seeing uh, in John chapter 1 that we, are going to, we have been told that Jesus is the creator. He is the light of the world. He was there from the beginning. So Jesus is all things that we are seeing here. If someone asks you, is Jesus? He is God, he is the Son of God, he is the Creator, he is the Word. He was there from the beginning. He is the light of the world. Just as we read in Matthew, that Jesus is the light of the world. And so as children of God, we should walk in the light. Because Jesus is what? is the light of the world. And we say that in this season, we need to shine our light that men may see. And we see that here, John announced the coming of Jesus. And he said that he is greater. That he is even not able to open the, sh the, the laces of his shoes. 
And so, basically, all this talking about Jesus, and we are seeing that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And so also Jesus came in a form of a man. And in our next class, we shall endeavor to see how Jesus became man and how he came to save mankind. So that is all for today. And so in our today's class, we have known that Jesus is the Son of God. So how does that make you feel? Of course, we need to get to know him. If you have not received him as your personal savior, you need to receive him as your personal savior. And I want us to give us a chance today. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, this is the time that you receive Jesus in your heart. You cannot elevate him. You cannot speak about him if you don't have a personal relationship with him. And so this time I want to give us a chance for everyone who's not born again. If you're not born again, if you're not giving your life to Jesus, this is the season. And so how many want to receive Jesus as their personal savior? Yes, I want to pray with you. And so say this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I accept Jesus as my Lord and as my Savior. Forgive my sins. From today forward, I will live for you and I will obey your commands. So help me, Lord. In Jesus' my name, I do pray and believe. And yes, if you made that prayer, you've been born again. And from this, today, and from this day forward, you are a child of God. In John 1, 11, you saw that he came to his own people. But they did not receive him. But as many as received them, he gave them power to be children of God. So you are a child of God because you have received Jesus as your personal savior. And so we've come to the end of our lesson. And before we do that, we normally have a memory verse every class. And today our memory verse comes from the book of John chapter 1 and verse 1. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that is our memory verse for this week. Kindly memorize it, make sure you record and send your recording to us, and we will appreciate. Kindly endeavor to memorize that the Word of God will become flesh in you, just as he says in John chapter 1 verse 14. And so, let us close the word of prayer. When it's time to pray, do we do? Put hands together. We close our eyes and bow our head and pray. Father, I want to thank you for the, your word and for the lesson of the day. I pray that this week you're going to teach us who Jesus is. That you're going to help us to understand who Jesus is. That he's the son of God. He is God. He's the creator of the universe. He's the light of the world. And he also came in a form of man to save us, O oh God. Help us to have this understanding to the glory and honor of your name. Bless us. Bless our parents. May you give us a blessed week, O oh God, a week full of Jesus. It is in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen and amen. Bye-bye. Have a nice week. See you next Sunday.